A Frankenstein Valentine, written by Samantha Berger, illustrated by Dan Santat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all his hearts in the front of the book are mean cooties. Have you seen my little sweetheart, Crankenstein? You can't miss Crankenstein on Valentine's Day. You would say happy Valentine's Day, my love. Frankenstein would say, Yuck! You would say, Look who got brand new heart undies. Frankenstein would say, Yuck! You would say, Don't forget to bring roses for all your teachers. Frankenstein would say, Yuck! You might see Frankenstein getting a big red smooch on the school bus. Yuck! Mwah! Or eating a heart-shaped peanut butter and jelly sandwich and heart-shaped applesauces. Yuck! And using a heart-shaped napkin covered in hearts. Gah! You may even find Frankenstein making his own kind of Frankenstein valentine. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue, Valentine's Day stinks. Seriously, P.U. You could certainly find him biting into a chocolate with surprise hairy coconut inside. Yuck! Crankostar does not care for that kind of chocolate. Or helping to make the mushy gushy Valentine's Day garden. Frankenstein does not appreciate helping to make the mushy gushy Valentine's Day garden. And you're guaranteed to find Frankenstein in a Valentine's Day school pageant. Frankenstein never said he wanted to be in a Valentine's Day school pageant. Nope, there's absolutely no way, no doubt, not. Now, not ever that Frankenstein wants anything to do with Valentine's Day. Except for maybe one thing. A best friend who understands exactly how you feel. Roses are red, violets are blue. On Valentine's Day, I feel just like you. Ew. Ew! Only 364 days until next Valentine's Day. Good job! Bye. Now look at the hearts. And now look at the hearts. For you be mine, I hope, go girl. <laughs> They're all good Pie, Angel, 